I just watched the video, Christianity Harms Society, Why I Mock Christians. In this video, you state 8 out of every 10 people believe in fairy tales. What I want to know is, does this statistic account for the liars? Does this statistic account for the people who go to church maybe on Easter and Christmas because their family wants them to, but the rest of the time, they don't really care. They don't read their Bibles. They don't pray. Nothing. They don't. It seems to me you claim to believe in a fairy tale, but you don't really believe in a fairy tale. Uh, so therefore, that's kind of a useless argument. Uh, I'd tell these people to stop living a lie. Stop claiming to be Christian. You know? Stop lying to the census people. Uh, as for your comment about the people being kicked out of their houses, what's that got to do with anything? Can you account for the faith of the people who are doing their job in this capitalist society? What I mean, is this an ad hominem? Is this red herring? What, what does that have to do with anything? They're just doing their job even if they were Christians. Uh... You talk about what they're being taught from childhood, but here's the thing. The truth or falsehood of a proposition is based on evidence. It doesn't matter what they're taught from childhood. You make the comment that it's very easy to get them to believe in other fairy tales like consumerism and celebrity worship. Do you ignore the fact that the Bible states that Christians should not be like the world? Uh, consumerism and celebrity worship pretty much fall under that category, that we should not practice that. Uh, so the ones who do practice celebrity worship aren't really acting in a Christian fashion. Um, you go on later to say that you researched what the Bible actually says. Yet you mentioned earlier that you were a Christian for quite some time, and what I have a hard time digesting is how were you a Christian for that long and you never got through the Bible all the way once? That's, uh, by the way, I believe that's a problem in, in, in American Christianity, especially how biblically illiterate a lot of people are who claim to be Christian. This is definitely a problem. Uh, I think it's because we spoon-feed people uh, seeker-friendly, sappy garbage uh, in the way that we don't preach against sin, we don't encourage Bible study, none of that. But that's, ir that's kind of beside the point. Uh, what else? What we have here is a rant and complaint about Christianity and Christians, but you're really complaining about the people who don't act like Christians. Uh, this seems to me uh, it's a straw man argument, and it tries to paint Christians all with the same brush. You know, who are you really talking about here? Uh, you never gave arguments for why Christianity is false. So if you are willing, I would like to hear your arguments that you believe falsify Christianity. Uh, and I, as a closing remark, by the way, I don't believe this is a Christian nation. I am a Christian, and I can tell you I do not think one bit that this is a Christian nation. If we know them by their fruits, and we know them by the way they love each other, speaking of Christians, uh, yeah, there are small, very small groups of people who definitely act like Christians. The rest of this country, though, does not act like Christians. Not when we have billion-dollar-a-year pornography industries and, and, and all the corruption in politics and, and everything like that. Uh, it's obvious that we're pretty much ignoring Christ as a nation. So uh, who's really doing the harm here? Is it, is it the people who claim to be Christians who are not acting like Christians? Is it the non-believers, you know, uh, such as the rapists, the murderers, the thieves, the pedophile priests, greedy economic swindlers, and the like. I'm not saying all non-believers are immoral people. No, they're very moral non-believers, and I have no problem admitting that. But it's the people who are not acting very moral who are the problem. Correct? So it's the ones who aren't acting like Christians, who claim to be Christians, that are the problem, along with the non-believers who are being immoral. It's just immoral people who are the problem. Not believers and moral non-believers. Just, just a thought. So you can mock Christianity all you want. By the way, I grew up as a closed-minded atheist. You could not prove to me there was a God if you tried. But given my testimony, it, if you're interested in hearing it, you can't prove to me that God doesn't exist now. You can't.
is a very real reality in my life. And believe me, I've looked for the evidence to make sure that what I experienced was somehow falsifiable. I can't find it. I can't. I've tried. Hallucination. Uh, maybe I was just tired. Maybe it was just me. And my, no. It doesn't. And we can discuss this if you like, but, you know, the sword cuts both ways. You can be a closed-minded atheist and still come out being a Christian. Just like you could be a closed-minded Christian and come out being an atheist. But our respective views and our experiences do nothing to falsify uh, the beliefs in question. We have to go with the arguments and evidence. So, would you like to dialogue about the arguments and evidence?